Hi, my name is Anil Srivatsa and welcome to another documentary. This one is a little different because we didn't have enough footage on this phone. There's a footage to have both hard drive pe bed hai India mein aur main America mein isko edit karta ja raha hu. To chaliye dekhte hain jab hum Italy to Dubai tak hamari gaadi ko drive karke gaye the na uski kuch ansh aur ha bhul na mat soch cast pe मेरा शो बिटवीन द शीट सुनना मत भूलिएगा सी ऑन दर साइड सोच कास्ट प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द शीट्स तो माई नेम इज अनिल इन दिस शो इज कॉल बिटवीन द शीट गिव इट ओपन माइंड एंड एंड लिसन टू इट जस्ट लिसन I was in 8th standard when I used to listen to your show. 8th standard. Yep. Oh my god, you're not supposed to you understand that, right? This is yeah, for adults you know, only. The show has a history. It started on the internet in 2001, then it came on to an FM station 2007, went off air by 2009 late, and now we're back on. So, we've had an interesting history on the show. Tumhari intezar mein bita di sari zindagi nahi dekhne ko mila tumhari ek chhalak. बेबस होकर निकले थे हम घर से उसी बेबसी को लेकर ची गए सर इफ यू लाइक वॉट यू हेयर यूर जस्ट अ क्लिक अवे फ्रॉम मेनी मोर एपिसोड फ्रॉम योर फेवरेट शो So here we are walking up through the main railway station and uh, our hotel is on the other side. It's the first Christmas tree we have seen since we've entered Rome. Uh, not much lighting. This is probably the brightest place we've come to and yes, we're all over the place. Everyone, everywhere. So this is the first time I'm ever seeing something like this where a train coach is going to go on a ferry. and that's the ferry that we see there that probably this coach is going to go into and take us to Catania so this bogey on the train we're officially on a ferry that's going to take us from mainland Italy to the Sicilian islands i've never imagined that we're going to be taking a ferry even on a train i figured we had a tunnel that'll take us under the water but no we're on a ship so this is going to be interesting it's quite fascinating to see and know that how these rails line up to the main rails and a little bit here and there and this train could be derailed that's precision imagine a ship lining up to rails on land with all the uh, ebbs and flow of the ocean this is just amazing and what we see there is surya and uh, dipali darkabat also known as uh, doing their piece of reporting from inside the ship well outside the train the one thing they don't have to worry about is the train leaving and how it's running behind it like karina kapoor in jabri met this train ain't going nowhere for now so we're at the port where we're finally going to meet gulfi here's the ship that was delayed and uh, it's finally here in catania the miandi It's a container ship that probably is just unloading one of ours and uh, we are anxious to get on to Selfie and Gulfi the two cars that are going to embark on the million donor project Gift of Life adventure. We're going to get Gulfi. हाँ तो जब वो ट्रेन को हमने रिश्वत दी और जल्दी से उन्होंने कंटेनर को अनलोड किया फिर इस सील को तोड़ना पड़ा दिस ब्लू सील इज़ द वन दैट वी हैड पुट इन मुंबई एंड वो खुलेगा सिर्फ डेस्टिनेशन पर ताकि पता चले कि नो बडी एक्चुअली टैम्पर्ड विद दिस कंटेनर ड्यूरिंग द शिपिंग प्रोसेस सो वी ऑन फेरी राइट हेयर देर इज गल्फी एंड सेल्फी क्रॉसिंग दशन ऑफ कोर्स On our way to mainland Italy, we were in Sicily for the last uh, few days, uh, stuck and stranded because our cars there didn't arrive. But when they did yesterday, we got on our way, and now we're at this spot 
in Messina on our way to Salerno on the other side to mainland Italy and then we begin our journey towards uh, Switzerland and then on to Germany and uh, Czechoslovakia. So here we go, the gift of life adventure. Enjoying this beautiful day. And so we're jumping all the way to Austria. Now in between from Italy to Austria, we've been to Germany, we've been to Switzerland um, and the other countries that come in the way. But we didn't anticipate uh, putting together this documentary like this. So the footage is kind of missing. Uh, more than missing, the footage is uh, on another hard drive somewhere else. And uh, yep. for the purpose of trying to get you a little more acquainted with our other journeys, I'm just using whatever footage I had in this phone. Of course, here oh, what you see is our quest to try and find a garage that will do an oil change for us. We looked in Italy, we looked in Germany, we looked in Switzerland, and nobody would give us an appointment to change oil. I'm saying that India is the best. Where you go, it will be our job. You need to take an appointment here. So, yes, we finally made it to this dealership. So, let's see what happened here. And this is Innsbruck in Vienna. I'm sorry, this is Innsbruck in Austria. Hi and welcome to Innsbruck and we're finally here at the uh, Toyota service center in Innsbruck. It's actually a Lexus service center and uh, they finally were nice enough and said they will change the oil. They have the filter and uh, Gulfi is now going to look as good as new, at least feel as good as new because it's been a while driving in these conditions. The oil that we used is what we use for lower te for higher temperatures and I thought I'd have a oil change when I get in these parts and I was finding it really difficult to uh, to get anyone to change the oil without a prior appointment and I tried this one here at uh, Toyota Innsbruck. Toyota is one of the sponsors for the Gift of Life Adventure and this Toyota came through for us. We're using oil, uh, we bought it outside, they have the filters and now we're excited about getting uh, Gulfy sounding and feeling like new. So this is the square that we are in Vienna, apparently this is where it all happens. It's a Saturday morning, so it's not really happening right now. It's a good time to take these pictures and actually give you a sense of what this whole area is like. Well, we just got downtown Prague and uh, we got off our first tram ride. We went to the farthest point and are going to go backwards into uh, where we are at the hotel. But Prague's really known for uh, its ancient buildings and the modern ones right next to it. Much like all the beautiful buildings that we have there. Today we're on 
the 12th of Jan and uh, we're Art, uh, in downtown gallery. Europe. It's the national... Uh, we are going towards um, that side. So uh, this is old park uh, up there that you see across the bridge. And this river I think was a uh, scene for one of the James Bond films. I don't remember which one, but... So we're in old Prague now, we just walked into this little quaint part of town, obviously commercialized because of the tourist population, but still pretty. Look at all the buildings. At the castle in Old Prague, we climb the hill, and here's what we get to see. And no better place to get a vantage view of the city of Prague. In Prague all day, uh, we've been walking around, and then finally we came across Taba Bias. Now it could only mean one thing. It could mean that there was Indian food in here. And there was. What's surprising and what should happen in India is this. They sell the food by weight. So you're very careful about what you're picking in your plate from a assorted buffet. And you eat exactly how much you can rather than wasting. Because the more you fill up, the more you're paying for it. So there you go. Dava Bias. So as we got out of Prague, Diesel, of course, and then guess what we find? We find Gulf, the first Gulf in Czechoslovakia. Along our journey, we've never seen one. And this would be the first. So this is the place that Gulfie is going to get fully tanked up. And uh, guess what we find? Another Gulfie car. This is a little Gulfie. Breaking news, I did something really stupid and what I did was instead of diesel, I filled this and later I had a suspicion before I started the car and it turned out that I filled petrol in the diesel tank and that is not a good sign. So what I have to do now is I have to drain the entire tank and luckily there is a service station right next to the uh, fuel station so we don't have to take the car far and they're going to charge me a lot of money to do this but it has to be done unfortunately and that is something that I'm going to regret for the rest of my life or feel really stupid and then there's this cafe So now we're starting the process of draining the, uh, the fuel tank of the petrol that I stupidly filled in. I'm not going to let myself live this down. So this is a sight to see. This little thing is going to tow that big thing. At the end of the day, size don't matter. Where we're headed.
planning to to drain the tank on this. And now Gulfi is being pushed the rest of the way. So this is how we're draining the uh, the system from the engine, and then it's coming out of the tank. So. And the car is back from uh, being drained and this time I'm taking no chances. I'm going directly for the extreme diesel. Sorry if I'm slurring a little bit because it's freezing outside and my tongues, my lips, everything are frozen and I can't really speak.
Bureau, non. Ah oui. Oh, tu es là. Tourner. Tanner. Tourner. Tourner. Tanner. Eh. Ah, ah, ok. Ah, dans les fous, t'as dit. So we brought the Sanjeev Kapoor packet of uh, chutney. It's the tamarind and jade. Uh, it's the tamarind and date chutney, and uh, we'll see how they're going to like it. We're going to ask them now to translate, use the translator on the phone, and tell them about this. And by the time we got to Bulgaria, it was almost freezing. I mean, freezing ke below the minus 13, 14 ke temperatures mein tha ye. Or uh, January ke time, it was almost around January 13th or so. So we just walked around the square, yeah, pe government buildings, jo bhi hai. But wahan pe, we were so curious, there were two cars out there and there was cameras. And we were wondering what, what celebrity was here or what these cameras were there for, because the media was everywhere. So we asked them and found out that the uh, Bulgarian president, or I think the prime minister, was out there uh, doing a business meeting in this building. Imagine if this happened in India. If in India, there was a talk about the Prime Minister or the Rashtrapati in a business meeting, there was so much quiet, people just didn't care. Uh, they went about their business and that was how this was. Hi, I just met her and I love her dress and she's kind enough to take a picture with me. We're in Sofia, Romania, uh, Bulgaria. And are you new to me? Elena, Sri Chinamoy, Pramu, Svani, Narayan, Makaraj. I continue to great kinship with greatest presidency in the world classic literature, Alexander Pushkin and his best wife, Poncharova. My mother's side, Poncharova. Thank you so much. I you. you could save eight lives. We're on a ferry here to uh, Chanakale and uh, then to Troy in Turkey. It's really windy. Uh, not so cold, it's about 4 degrees, but very windy and you can see the surf of the, uh, of the ocean, it's not very calm. That's the name of the liner ferry that we're on and there's Gulfi. So it's about 10.30 in the morning and uh, we get to see the place we're in in full sunlight. We have calm oceans now as opposed to yesterday which was windy conditions. Of course the sun rose from there so we've got the sun against us. But when we get away from the sun, the beauty of this place just reveals itself. That's the hill we came down. It's going to be a steep climb. Uh, it's literally a cliff drop. So you you make rice? Yeah. You make rice? Okay, I keep it. Rice. Okay, rice is here. All you want? This one is no. 
and I'm vlogging. Okay. Okay. And my boss, we are vlogging for you. Maybe I will to outside. You are <laughs> the kitchen. Right. So you pay me what salary will I get? So uh, we're actually making uh, paneer butter masala without the paneer. We've got mushrooms, we've got red pepper, we've got peas and the mushrooms are here. I'm going to improvise a little bit on uh, Sanjeev Kapoor's uh, recipe at the back of it, but I know if the masala is right, everything's going to go right. So 10 people are going to eat, let's hope we make enough for 10. So it's 8.30 in the morning and uh, we obviously spent the night in our Gulfy, like little hobos. We're not going into this mall to use the restroom and stuff. Road trip life, hashtag it's called, hashtag road tripping. That's the boat we're gonna take at 2 p.m. to Patra and then uh, down the coast towards Athens where Gulfi then gets shipped out to Dubai to finish the last leg of the Gift of Life Adventure 3. Right now on a Greek island we're waiting to get this trusted companion Gulfi. well Dipali is well there to the next leg that's our new security guard. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Yeah. Come. Come. So we're in the northern city of Patra in Greece. Uh, you go any more north, you'll get down to uh, Albania, which is somewhere there which does not allow any foreign nationals to come in. That's what we've heard because they've taken away all their diplomatic missions from all the countries and um, have segregated themselves or are in introspection, I guess. Welcome to Gulfy Drives. My name is Anil for the Gift of Life Adventure on the Million Donor Project. We're coming to the end of our uh, big leg and uh, getting ready to ship the car, that's Gulfi, for the final leg into Dubai. Right now we're in Greece, about 59 kilometers from Athens. What's uh, behind me uh, is a campsite. This is where we've been living the past few days. Well, not this exact campsite, but places like this, or just in the wilderness, just to take in the, uh, well, the natural beauty of this country, but also to save a lot of money because it's expensive to be in a hotel. Uh, roughing it out is good. I'm going to flip the camera now to show you what we have here as well, where our next night is going to be. And here we go. This is what Gulfi looks at now. A campsite that takes in caravans, cars, tents and everything else. To our surprise, we found a fellow American who runs this place and uh, he's been super nice. Gave us the best spot, and here's what it looks like, the campsite, right by the ocean. It is off season, however, this campsite is open all year round. Can't get any better than this. We get to the ocean, it's a small little beach, but a very safe one, I believe. The water here is completely shallow for as long as you can maybe see that buoy over there. So you could just walk through. Of course, it is cold now at this part of the year. However, it's a beautiful, gorgeous day. Uh, we're at about 18 to 20 degrees. The warmest we've experienced on the Gift of Life adventure. This is where we're going to wake up to. This is what we're going to wake up to and uh, of course say goodnight as well when the sun sets right over there. There's Gulfi and there's our bedroom. That white thing you see on top of Gulfi. 
when we open it up, you know what it's gonna be. A double bed and a bedroom that's gonna have the soothing sounds of the waves like this one that you hear. Yeah, you can't you can't pay us enough to go sleep in a trident or or a thouge or what, whatever you think is more comfortable than this. Hopefully we'll try and catch a sunset and show you what we have right here on Gulfy Drives, Cola Diaries. There is a critical organ shortage. It will cost your family nothing. Donate your organ. Be a giver, not just a taker. You could save eight lives. Your body will look the same after you donate your organ. Your tissues can help up to 60 people. It could be you or your last month in it. Your body looks the same after donating your organs. All major religions approve of organ donation. You will know at last one person who will need an organ in your lifetime. It's free to register and donate your organs.